Hi, uh, today I want to show you how we can extract data from any of the images like an invoice and put it in a spreadsheet or any of the systems uh, that you like. We'll use Generative AI and specifically we'll use GPT Vision from OpenAI to do that today. All right, let me show you this quick automation and what it does. I just put this together in about 30 minutes. I downloaded some random sample invoice with, it's an image, uh, PNG file, uh, that I read the data, like the invoice number, amount due, and I put it in a spreadsheet here. And that's what we'll look uh, at, what, how, how we can do that. So I'll be using a tool called Active Pieces. It's an open source tool. Uh, and I, I'm using the cloud version of it. It's a paid version uh, and you can also do that. It's a uh, easy quick way to get started. Uh, it's got a free plan. I have nothing to do with this tool. It's just that I have this uh, license and I'm using it. Uh, but you, you know, some of the popular tools for which you can use for this type of automation is Zapier or make.com. You can use any of those. Uh, in fact, Zapier is much more powerful. Uh, this is just an open source tool that we can use. So here is what I'm doing. I'm, you know, I have a workflow here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I read this, it's triggered by a new file coming into my Google Drive folder. And so I have this folder. And so I put this invoice uh, sample.png here. Uh, so that it starts triggering this file, uh, flow. And then I read that file, uh, which is um, reading the contents of the file and passing it on to ChatGPT or, or Vision API within GPT. So if you look at it, this is the heart of the automation and I'm reading that file, whatever the output, and I'm passing it a prompt. Now I'll show you the prompt, but some of the key things is I put the temperature pretty low uh, so that it doesn't hallucinate much. And then here I'm using the GPT vision uh, API uh, to do that. So that's two things to uh, understand. So the prompt here is, uh, uh, you know, I'm reading the, uh, the details like the invoice number, amount due and stuff like that. And I'm putting the results in an array of strings. So I'm also, I'm not just telling it to extract the data. I'm just telling it what format I want it specifically. I'm saying, ask, asking to remove comma so that I can move, uh, send it to the next step, which is to split it up. So it passes on, you know, it puts the comma separated, created comma, comma separated uh, string and then I just uh, 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 stripped it using the comma delimiter and then I'm inserting it in the sheet so I just insert it in the sheet uh, and and then you know you see it, it has uh, done almost everything actually everything right right in this case it's a simple invoice uh, as you can see but remember it's a scanned invoice but it then it is pretty clear uh, so it, it, it's it was not so difficult for me uh, for the open ai so as you can see you know we can uh, take scanned images extract data and put it in a spreadsheet um, and i think the uh, powerful thing here to understand is that earlier we had to finagle by and uh, you know uh, mapping this to particular uh, field ma mapping it out correcting the ai here it's basically you're just giving it a prompt and then working with the prompt refining the prompt to get the output that you need and once you have the output it generally works uh, for that particular format so uh, i have to try it still with complex more complex uh, outputs uh, or formats uh, but I think this is a good start uh, and, and, and we can all use it for uh, simple use cases at least to start with. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.